I get asked a lot, and it's something that I don't have any experience with, is what it was like having draftees as, you know, I was in all vol- all volunteer military, and then on top of that, you know, the unit I worked with, we were all volunteered again. You know, you volunteered to come in, then you volunteer again to try and be in the SEAL teams. And people ask what it was like working with draftees. Now, Hackworth's opinion was draftees were good because they didn't care about their career. And if they thought something was wrong, they'd say, hey, this is crap, we don't wanna do that. Or, hey, you're not telling the truth to us. And so he thought it was good and it kept the army in check. But there still had to be some leadership differences in dealing with, and later in your career, obviously you started working with the all volunteer army. What did you notice about the draftees that you learned from? Well, the, the draftees, just like, and it doesn't make any difference to your draftees or, or volunteers. It depends on the leadership. And, you know, they'll respond to good leadership. And uh, the, the draftees were like anyone else. Once you're in the position, you're going to do the best you can, especially when you're in combat because you want to survive. Mm-hmm. And, and, and by that time, it gets to be a bonding thing. You know, you're not there fighting for liberty and justice in the American way. You're fighting for the guy to the right of you and the guy to the left of you, basically. Because, uh, you know, every day you're living together, you're dying together, you know. And so it's it's a function of leadership. And the draftees were great guys. I mean, I'd serve with them anywhere. Uh, I, in fact, I didn't even know who was draft. Mm-hmm. I didn't care. I didn't ask you know, whether they're draftees or volunteers, although the vast majority of our guys were draftees in, in the 4th or the 39th. Wow. And, and that's what was so cool about it, that Hackworth could take that battalion and turn it around. I mean, I heard stories, because I came later on, you mm-hmm. know, but he had a price on his head initially. Yeah, a price on his head from his own guys yeah. in his own oh, battalion. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but nobody had the gonads to <laughs> step up and claim the, claim the prize, so yeah, to speak. I-